horses took centre stage for the 10th leg of the Longy Global Champions Tour here in the spectacular venue of Chanty, France. The crowds packed the stands as the world's best took to the beautiful grass arena. Let's see how they got on. International course designer Uliano Vezzani set a formidable track to challenge the stars of the sport. The crowds were on the edge of their seats as poles rolled all over the course and penalties came thick and fast. In trouble. Cheers resonated around the arena after French rider Philippe Rosier was the first to go clear to the delight of the home crowd. Harry Smolders and Emerald followed suit with a foot-perfect round, with the stallion looking fresh and easily taking the testing track in his stride for a masterful clear. There was further dismay for the French crowds as Penelope Le Pauvre exited on a false. Shame, I was sort of hoping she was going to be in there because she can really fire up a jump off. Simon de Lest and Chadino retires, and finally leaving the ring with hefty amounts of faults, Roger Boss and Patrice Delavo. Fires, big fire to shoe up into the crowd. Colombia's Carlos Enrique Lopez entered the grass arena. Sit still, sit still. Good Oof. man. 86. Eight, yeah, 86. He's okay, isn't he? You've got to run close to it. You've got to run very close to it. Oh. <laughs> I told you he's going to run close to it. Absolutely on the button. The first round ended with a masterclass as Scott Rash and Hello Forever jumped a beautiful clear, setting up a four strong jump off. So good under pressure. Yeah, he really is the man for the big occasion, isn't yeah. he? The jump off was a high caliber tale of speed and power. The first man out was Frenchman Philippe Rosier. Two, three strides and gallop to the last. He's got to really leg it up here, and he is doing. Got a good stride there. Good man. That's a good start. The crowd have really loved that. Is it enough? Good on form. Harry Smolders beats his time. It's a lot quicker. Two seconds at the moment and extending all the time. More than three strides here. 44.8. Yeah, yeah. Easily enough. The pressure was on for Carlos Lopez, who exited the jump off on four faults, leaving it all down to Scott Brash and Hello Forever to upset Harry's lead. He's quick down there. Now, this is the turn he needs. 41, 6 3. Gallop, Scott, keep going. He's getting slower. Keep going. You've got to gallop. It's not got him. He has no afraid. It's going to be 42-82. It'll be a second spot for Scott Brash and uh, Hello Forever. Harry Smolders will finish top on 41-63. And uh, Philip Rosier into third in the end. They're cheering and, and also Emrod loves that. And, uh, it gives, it, it gives him even more spirit, and, uh, and it, that's what he showed today. He was, he was so good. I don't have many words for this. I mean, to win the GCL and the GCT on the same day with the same horse, uh, and he jumped so well. Yesterday he didn't make a fault, and then today as well. And then the jump off, he was again very, very good. Uh, it was a good weekend for it. <laughs> a diamond weekend. <laughs> the on form Dutchman Harry Smolders continues to extend his lead on 247 points with Alberto Zorzi on 190 points and Michael van der Vleuten five points behind on 185. Hot on his heels is Christian Alman on 180 points, with Scott Brash in fifth place on 166 in the overall ranking. As the race for the overall lead really starts to gather pace, has the Dutchman got the Champion of Champions title already in his pocket? All eyes turn to Berlin, Germany, the 11th leg of the Launching Global Champions Tour. <laughs> 